Welcome back to Pastor Chef. Today I'm doing a live cooking demonstration for two of my favourite companies in all the world. Firstly, it's Kadai. They've sent me loads of great kit to work with. And secondly, Romerol. So we're here today cooking paella. What I'm going to do first is get in there with a bit of oil and then I'm going to put some salt in. And then let's go in there with our chicken. So today we've got this lovely big pan. We've got these great tools from Kadai as well. They're just really good quality and it means you're not forever close to the fire because it's a good length but they're stable. When you pinch them together they don't twist. It's really worth investing in a good set of tools. You can see the chicken's really started to brown off and I'm going to get some of the other ingredients into the pan. So this is, this is sun-dried saffron from Iran. Uh, you can get Spanish, it's very expensive, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toast it myself in a little bit of foil here. Just make a little, little package, flatten it out, and you're literally going to toast it for 10 seconds on each side. Okay, so I'm going to whack it on the, on the wood coals there while the chicken's cooking. A couple of seconds each side. I've got some stock which is heating through, and I'm going to boil this saffron in the stock before we add it to the dish. It's going to allow all the fragrance to get right in there, chuck the whole lot in while that's boiling away. And now we're going to start adding our vegetables and chorizo. So in go the onions and chorizo. And I'm going to add some peppers. I like red peppers, especially in paella. What we need to do next is get some of this lovely paprika. It's another fantastic Spanish spice. They use it in so many different things. And I'm going to put about four teaspoons into this mix here. Nice and smoky flavour. Let's get this mixed around. Oh, that's going to fry there into those lovely vegetables. Get those flavours rich into that chicken. So I've got eight plum tomatoes here, which I've de-seeded and just diced up. I'm going to chuck a few of those in. I'm going to give it about five more minutes. Let the chicken cook right the way through. Continue with that caramelisation. Let it just get really just really well cooked, well well finished on the outside and caramelised. That's where all the flavour is going to come from. Right next we're going in with some garlic, just chuck it in there now. I don't want to chuck that in when it's firing because the garlic will burn and then we'll just get the bitter taste through the whole thing. But doing it now, perfect. So now we've got all the ingredients in there, the chicken's cooked, the veggies are fried off, the chorizos, they're all the flavours are moulded together, you've got the paprika, it's smoky and delicious and I'm going to go in with about two or three glasses of, of white wine just to deglaze a little bit. The stock has been boiling away with the saffron in it. It's got that lovely yellow tinge in. There's just an air of smokiness and aromatic about it, which is beautiful, really exciting. So when we put that into this uh, paella, it's gonna give it the, the wondrous flavor that we need. Now we are gonna put in this galaspara, which is the Spanish short grain rice. If you're gonna use one, you can use like arborio or something like that. Um, I guess you could use like a risotto rice, but calasparo, that's the stuff, and it just absorbs all that juice, and we're going to get it nice and sticky, remember, on the base. So in that goes. Now when you're doing this, just give it one stir to get it in. You want all the rice on the base, that's absolutely fine, and then we're going to pop the stock in, give it one more stir, and then we're not going to touch it, and it's really important that you don't touch this too much. You want, you want all of the rice to be starting to stick to the base, because that's where that lovely gooiness comes from that everyone craves in Valencia. Here we are, saffron stock. I'm just gonna pour that all over. Now I'm just gonna try and get the rice to go down under the surface of the water. We want it to just be absorbing uh, water and plumping up nicely. And remember, when you've got it on a fire pit like this Kadai, all this, all this steam here is reduction. So the sauce is gonna be coming down. It's also gonna be soaking up. So by the end of this, the juice will be gone from this dish and it will be all in that lovely rice. That's what will make it really unctuous. Now where I'm just gonna to toss in a little bit of seafood. I've got some nice squid here. I've got a couple of prawns and a couple of mussels. So these are already washed and prepared. My lovely fishmonger to do that for me. You can stick broad beans, you can stick runner beans in this. You can really put any veg in that you like. Artichoke hearts, very popular in Valencia. Uh, but I'm going for just something that everyone will have in their, in their ingredients here, in their freezer somewhere. A packet of fresh frozen peas, not fresh and frozen, just frozen. Um, and just a few sprinkled on the top like that. Okay, so we're just getting a lid on this. 
going to make sure that all of that rice absorbs all of the moisture and we end up with that sticky stuff on the bottom as I say, the darkened like stuff that's stuck to the base. Everyone wants a piece of that, that's where all the flavour is, all the fats from the meat just getting flavour into the rice which is gorgeous. Okay, one last thing, I'm just going to chuck a couple of brushes here of rosemary under the foil lid. Guys, would you like some paella? There we are, sir. I've eaten some paellas in my time, but that has to be the nicest one I've ever had. All the fish is cooked perfectly, the chicken's awesome, the rice is done, and underneath you've got this lovely stickiness at the base of the pan. That's exactly what we're looking for. I'm going to serve a bit of this up. Uh, in fact, I'm going to get involved here and just try a bit of the base. That's the, that's the bit, that's the bit there that sums it all up. So full of flavour, saffron's coming through. That's a beautiful dish. I'll be doing that again. This has been paella. This has been pasta. I hope you enjoyed it.